Hello everybody, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, dudes, do this. My name is Sergey Baklikov, you're watching Baklikov Live. Baklikov Live, this is my YouTube channel where I'm making the live streams on the widest, widest variety of topics every freaking day. You hear me? Every freaking day. Well, if you're watching my uh, channel at least for a while, you know that. So yesterday I was in Vyborg, Leningrad region, about like 120 kilometers from St. Petersburg. So today I've got back, I got back to St. Petersburg and uh, now here for the nearest life. All the way through Zagrady Prospects, uh, through Prospects. Yes, this is going to be another nice walk. Uh, the weather is okay. It's uh, not but still, it's warm. It's warm. Plus three degrees Celsius. It's actually warm uh, by Russian standards. And uh, considering this is April, this is St. Petersburg, this is north, yes, it's warm. Okay, let's get it started. Jay Lewis, Neil McDonald, Shirley Farthing, everybody, Roberto DeVos, Georgia Girl, everybody. Keep joining, keep joining. Welcome for another awesome walk here. This is the very beginning of uh, Zagrodny Prospect. Zagrodny. It is uh, the word Zagrodny consisted of two Russian words. Za, behind, and uh, Gorod, which is city or town. Zagrodny Prospect. Yes, like gets uh, about 150, uh, 200 years ago. It was, it was the avenue, the road behind the city. Now it's like the historic city center but back then in the end of 18th beginning of 19th century it was Zagorod behind the town like countryside or outskirts and uh, there we can see the institutes all Russian institutes of measures named after Dmitry Mendeleev Dmitry Mendeleev it's uh, great Russian scientist, mostly he known to the world's audience as uh, the one who created the periodic table of chemical elements. Uh, so this is one of the oldest institutes of measures, which was started as the main chamber of weights and measures. And here is one of the oldest and uh, the most prestigious institutes or universities which is called St. Petersburg, the St. Petersburg State Technological Institute, also known as Technologic University, founded in 1831. So it's like already almost almost 200 years soon. And here is the metro station. There's the metro station which is called Technologiczki Institute. Institut. Technologic Institute. Yes, one of the oldest metro stations in St. Petersburg. That's uh, the red line, the very first line of uh, five lines of St. Petersburg Metro. And the red one was the first, uh, uh, the first metro stations and the first line uh, was started in 1950s. Okay, so I will go now. Agarni Prospect. Meanwhile, you guys keep joining to this awesome walking tour in an awesome day. The local time, I believe, uh, 6.46. So, um, we will walk through Zagrodny Prospect, five corners, and then Vladimirsky Prospect, because Vladimirsky Prospect, it's like gonna be a like the continue, the continue of uh, Zagrodny and we'll go all the way to the intersection with Nevsky. <laughs> the 
the district where we are, known as Admiralty, Admiralty. This is the Admiralty district, and like a municipal district, which is like the district of the district, like a mini district of districts. It's called Semenovsky. That's because, that's because, historically it was the place where was based Semenovsky, the Semenovsky Live Guards Regiment, one of the oldest, one of the oldest regiments in Russia. It was founded, yes, in the end of 17th century. And uh, it is existence all the way until uh, 1918, yes, right until the beginning of revolution. And in 2013, they are recreated it again. So the Semenovsky Lifeguards Regiment exists again. Semenovsky, yes, Semenovsky, they went all the way through so-called Northern War, Swedish Wars, uh, Napoleonic Wars. But unfortunately, they had a uh, bad pages in its history as well, because some of the members of uh, Semenovsky Regiment, they are participated, participated in uh, the murder of Tsar, Emperor Paul I in 1801 I forgot to tell you that in Technologic University there's 5,000 students and 100 and the Semenovsky Regiment it's like Ismailovsky Regiment just called, uh, just named after Semenovskaya, Semenovskaya village or like settlement that used to be not far from Moscow, west from Moscow, just the place where it was founded, Semenovskaya. This is the building where now is located the administration of Admiralty, Admiralty District, the administration of Admiralty District's education department, education department here. I used to show you the uh, building of administration of Admiralty District at Ismailovsky, Ismailovsky Prospect, and here is uh, the. Uh, education department of the administration there is located the garden of a book of a hospital the oldest public hospital in russia you definitely would recognize this hospital if i would show you from the side of fontanka there goes Fontanka. From the other side, there goes Fontanka. And there's such a wide, really wide uh, hospital, which is like the building, yellow building in a classicism style. I told you about that place several times. It's, uh, it was the very first public hospital in Russia, well, at least in St. Petersburg, in St. Petersburg. And uh, there was a psychiatric department, so that's why here in Russia, also when they say, are you from the yellow house, they mean like, are you nuts, are you crazy? Uh, now, all the hospital is actually located under the uh, renovation. 
waiting for a renovation. I think it's uh, the globalist renovation for all its time. It's more than 200 years. Yes, the hospital was founded like 1770s, something. And here is 1931 constructivist fire department. If you remember, many times I told you that 1920s, 1930s in uh, the uh, Soviet Union was the age of uh, constructivist architecture. So here it is. There is like 1925 fire constructivist fire departments on uh, the intersection of Moscow prospects. I used to show you last. 1931 fire department which is still the fire department so like yeah already 90 years oh damn it they are still active you see the fire department car Kamas Kamas Russian track Kamas Kam stands for Kama they uh, produced them in Nizhny, in Nizhnykamsk, uh, Republic of Tatarstan, not far from uh, not far from Kazan, the capital of Tatarstan. And this is a women's department of the hospital. Here is now military. It used to be it used to be the uh, like a women's department of uh, Abukhova, the first public hospital. Um, and now here is military medical hospital. Military medical hospital. Constructivism. Yes, if you remember yesterday I was in Vyborg and I used to show you uh, the uh, library, the central library of Vyborg, also known as Alvar Alto Library and uh, in Finland also in 1930s the style like this was known as functionalism well I'm sure that uh, if you will start digging like too deep you will find the differences between functionalism and the constructivism but in general they are very close to each other and now now what I'm gonna show you yeah it's already there the very first the very first railway station not only in st petersburg but in whole russia why is that because remember back then the capital of russia was st petersburg and look what's really surprising that the very first railway station in russia is still the most beautiful railway station you will see now Keep following me. Of course, I'm talking about Vitebsky. Vitebsky Vakzal, Vitebsky Railway Station. Yeah. This is it. How you love it. The Vitebsky railway station. The very first railway station here was founded in 1837 and it serves the very first railways, railway, yes, railway, railway route in Russia. It was the railway from St. Petersburg to Tsars, 
settlement, Tsarskoye Selo, like Tsar's village or Tsar's, I don't know, residence. Now this is a town of Pushkin. It's the outskirts of St. Petersburg. It used to be like uh, separate from St. Petersburg. Now Pushkin, the town of Pushkin, considers as a part of uh, St. Petersburg, like a big St. Petersburg. But exactly this building was constructed in 1904, and this was one of the very first Art Nouveau, Art Nouveau buildings in St. Petersburg, designed by an, an architect, Stanislav Bzazov... Bzazovsky. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Wow. It's impressive. So at first it was uh, the the railway station was was called Tsarskoselsky Vokzal. Tsarskoselsky railway station. Yes, like according to and and, and still still it's it, it's it, it's it's it makes sense like to name the railway station according to the rec to the, the direction where it goes like Moskovsky Vokzal in St. Petersburg. There you understand that it goes in direction of Moscow. So here is now Vitebsky. Because uh, to 1904, there already was the roads, not only just to Tsarske Selo, which is now a town of Pushkin, but to Vitebsk, which is now a town of Belarus. Vitebsk. It's great. It's absolutely great. Believe me, I completely, I completely agree with the status of uh, the most, still the most beautiful railway station in uh, St. Petersburg and in Russia. It's one of five active railway stations in St. Petersburg. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yes, Nicholas, it was the time of Nicholas I when uh, this uh, uh, when, when the first railway station and the first railway appeared and actually the very first ride was made with the like the head of uh, the station and Nicholas I himself it's as beautiful as inside as outside as uh, they even like all the time film the, the movies here they film the movies every time they need to show like a beautiful railway station uh, the uh, movie makers goes here and look this looks pretty much as the window of Yeliseev Yeliseev brothers store on Nevsky <laughs> right which is also made in the style of Art Nouveau in 1903. Well, it's 1904. The Yeliseev store was made in 1903. Let's try to get in. Let's make a quick, just quick tour. Look, the renovation work here was absolutely amazing. Like, uh, they paid a huge attention to the details. Look at this oak wooden uh, benches. Look at all of this. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at this central hall with a marble. 
It's a lighting hole. I told you, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree that this uh, railway station is still the most beautiful. Look at this stained glass. Yes, making a quick tour. Already back down here was even the elevators. The elevators. Nicholas Nikolai the first Emperor Nikolai the first because uh, yeah like the uh, railways the Russian railway started to be developed exactly in the times of Nicholas the first ну какова какова красота Прекрасно, да? I told you. <clears throat> Going to the platforms. <laughs> this is the railway station, I think. It, that looks like exactly like all the railway stations have to look like. And uh, the trains, still, still the trains, uh, the suburban trains to Pushkin, Tsarskoye Selo, still goes from here like every 30, 40 minutes. I think it's time for me to get back to Pushkin, by the way. What do you think? Well, not many, not many, um, I mean, not maybe not at all trains to uh, Vitebsk, the borders are closed, but if you talk about the suburban trains, they work all the time, they work by schedule. How do you love it? Doug, welcome to the club.
The back then here was the cargo for baggage. Now look at this. So here was, uh, how to say, buffet. You see here is even grand piano staying. Ну, шикарно, шикарно. And look at all of these doors. Still an original wooden doors. And that's a new plastic shit. Yeah, all these doors. Okay, getting back to Zagardny Prospect. Continue our walking tour. Yeah, I'm sure you all love this. You all love this. It's impossible not to love Vitebsky, Tsarsky Selsky railway station. This is it. The first and still the best railway station in Russia. Meanwhile, here is Pushkinske, Pushkinske metro station. Such as Stalinist entrance to Pushkinske. It's also the red line, 1950s. Pushkinska, one of the first metro stations in St. Petersburg. And there's, of course, inside, if you will go inside, you will see the um, um, monument to Alexander Pushkin.
here is McDonald's. Yes, McDonald's. McDonald's now. And this is one of a former barracks, soldiers barracks of the regiment. I told you this area known as Semenovsky, municipal district Semenovsky, because historically the place of uh, location of uh, the Semenovsky lifeguards regiment. So uh, all these electric scooters, I already told you in other live streams, yeah, started the business. You can take scooter, activate it through application. They charge you in um, per minute, per minute plan. And then you can leave it whatever you want. Well, of course, like in, um, in the borders of this city. Okay, meanwhile we keep moving and now we go in the direction of Youth Theater, 1960s, the Soviet Youth Theater, Pioneer Square. You remember I am also a pioneer, I am one of the pioneers of IRL streaming. The sunset is coming. So, here we go. The Garden of Youth Theatre. And the square right there, right next to Youth Theatre, a called Pioneer Square. Here is the monument to Alexander Gribayedov, a Russian writer, poet, playwright, and diplomat. Yes, the whole canal here in St. Petersburg named after him, Alexander Gribayedov. He was a really good writer, let's say uh, his, his uh, how to say, novel called Goria Tuma, War from Wheat, is still one of the greatest. And they stage it in most of the theaters. Look, the grass, the grass is getting green, little by little, yeah, give it a week or two and it will be good. <clears throat> 1960, the youth theater. It's still making the uh, for a youth theater young зрителей. Well, literally the theater of young viewers. Yeah, by the way, nice place to ride the electric scooter 
or that smaller wheel like that guy As you can see, the architecture way more brutalist than the architecture of uh, the end of 19th, beginning of 20th century. So this is a pioneer square. I think it's called Pioneer Square because the pioneers, the pioneers in Russia, in Soviet Union, they all were young. So the youth theater and the square of pioneers, or Pioneer Square. Let's get back to Zagorny Prospect. I'm showing you all the epochs here. Do pioneers still exist there nowadays? No, but I am a pioneer. I'm a pioneer of IRL live streaming. You guys remember, in real live streams, every freaking day, I'm not sitting at home, I'm not playing the games. I never do a stupid pranks, okay? A little bit windy today, in some places it's windy today. It's interesting that it seems to be now that now the spring is way more windy than let's say the winter was. Grybayedov once again read his war or wit. No will. from wits but literally if uh, how it sounds in Russia it sounds Guri Atuma it's like the uh, misery misery from the mind they are trying to say that all the problems comes because you're you're too smart The problems from being smart. War from wit. Okay, so this is the barracks, a former barracks, soldier barracks of uh, the regiment. This is it. There was Manish riding hole. Now it's more like a business center. There's the stores, different offices, like let's say advocate office, but lawyers, and just everything. Just everybody can uh, rent the office there.
and this building here is bunk I don't know it seems like it's called a bunk a bunk I actually never even heard about such a bank I used in Kof. Ah, okay, hey, it's Alexandrovsky. Alexandrovsky Bank. I think it's written there. Bank Alexandrovsky. Anyway, I use Sinkov. So this is Zvinigorodskaya street, the corner with Zvinigorodskaya. And it's considered like Zvinigorodskaya, it's a border between Admiraltyevsky and central district of uh, St. Petersburg at this part. So now I guess we are gonna move to the central district. While staying here on a traffic light, um, let me tell you that today exploring Zagorny Prospect and Vladimirsky. Now we're walking through five corners. Piatuglov, it's a pretty famous place because there's a unique intersection of five corners. Five corners, four streets. Four streets that are creating five corners. Zagorny Prospect. Can you imagine that only like 150 years ago it was it was the outskirts of St. Petersburg, of the historic St. Petersburg. That's why it's called Zagorny, behind the city avenue. Now, here you can see the revenue house built in, uh, not a revenue house, the house of the merchant Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov, built in 1916. Kuznetsov, he was a porcelain maker, porcelain maker. And now a big part of this building, since 1989, given to Jazz Philharmonic Hall. Yes, since 1989, Jazz Philharmonic Hall is here. The head of Jazz Philharmonic Hall for all of that time, David Galashokin. Uh, he is already for 52 years in jazz and since 1989, so how, how much? Yeah, like 52 years in jazz, 32 years here in Jazz Philharmonic Hall. Like several months ago, I was here and I used to show it to you. Here is, uh, you, you can, here you can find the academic, if I can say so, academic jazz. It's not like, let's say, in the head. It's more like an academic jazz. Yes, they improvise, but not as much as in the head. After all, it's Philharmonic Hall.
Очень мало. Нет, я не блогер. Давид Голощокин. Yes. 52 years in jazz. He's, I guess, already like almost 80. But he's doing pretty good. He's playing piano, he's playing violin, he's playing sax. I think it's time for me to get back to Jazz Philharmonic Hall in the nearest time. Ambulance. The St. Petersburg Ambulance. Brian and B do a show sometime again, Sergey. Yes, we'll do that. It's time to get back to Just for Morning Call because it was like maybe a four month. I remember that it was before 2021. Верма. It's actually another symbol. It's another symbol of Saint Petersburg. People here love Шаверма. This residential building is really huge. Look, this part is connected there, and this part is actually like it's like two buildings, two buildings connected with each other there in that part. And this is a little square, which is named after Sergei Davlatov. Sergei Davlatov, he is a uh, uh, very well-known Soviet writer. He was born in 1940s, I don't remember the exact year, but he was born in Ufa, then moved to St. Petersburg, lives at Rubinstein Street, house number 23, and then moved, migrated to New York. He is pretty well known in the world. And this is the Memorial Museum Apartments of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. Can you imagine that? Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov lived here for many, many years. And here were written most of his the most significant music masterpieces. Nikolai Rimsky Kurskov like Sadko, uh, the fairy tale about Tsar Sultan, and more. And the museum of Nikolai Rimsky Kurskov is uh, founded here in 1971. Just his his family, his descendants, has turned this into the apartments. 
which is still which is still uh, have a huge amount of the authentic stuff of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. It's considered as one of the uh, most authentic museums, museum apartments of the composers. Like still um, the authentic room with a lot of authentic stuff. You can come here, it works. The museum apartments of Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. Well, if you don't know Sadko, if you don't know Sadko, you definitely know the flights of a bumblebee. Well, I think it's pretty significant that next to the uh, residential building where lived Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov and next to Jazz Philharmonic Hall, here is the store music instrument store, which is called Mir Musiki, the world of music. guitars, synthesizers, drums. And um, we are already almost at the five corners. Wow, look at this door. Damn, that's, that's what I love. Look, the same building, the same building, look at this. Amazing pre-revolutionary building. Now look at this. Nice, nice door. Seems like authentic authentic wooden door and look here look absolutely the same absolutely the same building hey Or look at this. God damn it. Plastic shit. Beer. Belgian pub. 130 beers, European cuisine. No, that's not bad doors. It doesn't seem like an original doors, but look, at least they are really looking good. And look at this hand, how to say, handlers. Yes. It seems like just the bar owners knows the sense in aesthetics. Old whale, old whale. Nice, right? Okay, the famous five corners. Unique intersection, unique intersection of four streets, Zagardny Prospect, Rubinstein Street, 
Lomonosov Street and Razjezhe Street. Which are creating five corners, literally five corners. And uh, the cherry on a cake is, of course, this house, the revenue house of Ioffe, merchant Schneer Ioffe. It's uh, 1914. Look. First corner, second, third, fourth, and fifth. This is Razjezhe Street, Zagrodny Prospect, Rubinstein Street, Lomonosov Street, and this is uh, Zagrodny Prospect too. Well, actually, Zagrodny Prospect making two corners, even three corners. Yeah, so look at this, literally the five corners. And this revenue house was only six apartments, two apartments on each floor, because Iofe, he wanted it to be considered only as the revenue house for very wealthy people. And here, and here, and here, on the second floor, that there was the movie theater for 300 seats, 300 or 250 seats and um, only two apartments on each floor where on the top floor he and his family lived himself Yorker. i came all the way from there this is zagrodny prospect Well, in 1914, 1915, when it was built, this already wasn't uh, the outskirts, but still, the name of the avenue is uh, Zagrodny, behind the, the city, behind the city avenue. Five corners as this as this square itself, as uh, the uh, revenue house with the tower, are the symbols. One of the symbols of this city, one of the most famous places. Mike, Andrew, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. Thank you for joining the membership. I think that joining the membership is the most important thing for the development because this is something what allow uh, to make a long-term and big plans. Welcome to St. Petersburg. Russia, Petersburg. St. Petersburg, greatness and power, unbelievable depth of uh, history, culture, and architecture.
Lomonosov. It's the street named after Mikhail, Mikhail Lomonosov. It's one of the most significant scientists of the Russian Empire. He lived in 18th century. This is Anton Rubinstein Street, a former Troitsky, like Trinity Street. Uh, Rubinstein himself lives in that building. Anton Rubinstein, the founder of uh, music conservatory, composer and one of the greatest pianists ever. Also Rubinstein known as uh, the most restaurant street now. The most restaurant street in St. Petersburg and uh, in a whole Russia. You will not find the streets in whole Russia with a bigger amount of uh, the bars and restaurants. What a nice look, what a nice uh, sunset there, nice sky. Uh, so here was the movie theater, now there's the place which is called Social Club on the second floor. Прекрасно, прекрасно, right? Okay, and uh, you see there's already the end of Zagorodny. We go there. There's Vladimirsky Square and starts Vladimirsky Prospects, Vladimirsky Avenue, because it's named after the, the church there. Our Lady of Vladimir Church. Uh, that's like the official translation, but in Russian language it sounds like <coughs> Uh, the Church of Vladimirskaya Icon of the Mother of God. Cheremok. Cheremok means like an old little wooden house. It's like real old Russian words. Nobody called their houses as uh, Cheremok anymore. Okay, so this is the church of uh, Konevetskaya, icon of the Mother of God. The thing is Konevets, that's the island on Lake Ladoga, where it's located the monastery, man's monastery. So I guess it's some kind of... Uh, representative like a branch of uh, Konevetsky Monastery. Konevets Island on Lake Ladiga. There's a man's monastery.
the church of Kunivetska, icon of the mother of God. And there we already see the belly of uh, Our Lady of Vladimir Church. That's where Vladimirsky Prospect begins. And here goes the new development. Look. Damn, the developers. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure what it was here, but the fact that there was a whole piece of land where they were able to construct this new building. I think they call this a part hotel. Not a full-featured residential building, a part hotel. Yeah, a part hotel right next to Vladimirsky Square. because she knows how to check the prices for real estate pretty fast so she could tell you uh, the price range for the apartments here okay so that's the end of Zagrodny Prospect for one hour ten minutes we went all the way through at uh, the uh, uh, Vitebsky railway station or Tsarsko Selsky, former Tsarsko Selsky railway station, the first uh, railway station in St. Petersburg and in Russia. Now, also, we will continue walk through Vladimirsky, Vladimirsky Prospect. It's not as long as Zagrodny Prospect and it goes until the corner with Nevsky, Nevsky Avenue. By the way, here is the entrance to Dostoevsky Metro Station. And there's Vladimirsky Metro Station. Dostoevsky because uh, there is the residential building. And where is located his museum apartment, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Okay, so our lady of vladimir church or if literally translate from russian it's the church of the vladimirsky icon of the mother of god the end of 18th century amazing so uh, the avenue named after this church Vladimirsky Church, Our Lady of Vladimir Church. Renaissance Hall. One of that many modern buildings here. It's business center. Vladimirsky Prospect.
We now, by the way, go parallel to Rubinstein Street. Rubinstein is there from the left. The Bellary, amazing Bellary. It creates an awesome ensemble with a church and several more buildings there. Viking bunk. It looks clean. It not only looks clean, it is clean. It looks clean because it's clean. They clean it here all the time, but uh, that mostly people in St. Petersburg just do not litter, do not lit. Okay, this is the theater of Len Soviet. Theater named after Len Soviet. One of the most known theaters in St. Petersburg since 1931 here. And look, when you go there, there is the bar which is called This Is Bar. Boy, I'm sorry, here. This is bar. This is bar just right next to Len Soviet's theater. This is bar at the bar. Amazing just bar. I was bringing you there a week ago, you remember? Very nice alternative to the head. Because if the head is a kind of standing 1950s style jazz bar. So there, yeah, we, there's the tables. There you can actually sit. And there's also the food. In the moments when in the head, there's just the drinks. Here is the restaurant called FM Dostoevsky restaurants of Russian cuisine. The thing is, the Stayevsky, not for too long, but leaves and here as well. David Gant, thank you, thank you for appreciation.
and there's already Nevsky. All the roads, sooner or later, led to Nevsky. Or lead to Nevsky. So this is it. Nevsky Prospect. The corner of Nevsky Prospect and Vladimirsky Prospect. Radisson Royal Hotel. I have a whole vlog from inside of this hotel, Radisson Royal. Check it out. From the end of 18th century, initially, here was the hotel. Now this is the hotel which is belonging to Radisson. And this is the revenue house of uh, the family of Palkin family. Palkin. Palkin family. The Palkins, they were big into in a restaurant business. Already back then, in the end of 18th, beginning of, uh, in the end of 19th, beginning of 20th century, they knew how to make a nice restaurant and attract uh, the most prestigious audience here like here was coming Dostoevsky Tchaikovsky and other well-known guys in the Soviet years here was the movie theater called Titan but now the restaurant here is recreated Palkin restaurant I think that's uh, pretty soon, pretty soon, I will visit Palkin restaurant at one of my dinner sessions, dinner sessions. Okay, thank you all for watching. This was another walking tour, full walking tour through Zagarny Prospect, through Five Corners and uh, Vladimirsky Prospect. Hope you enjoyed big time. My name is Sergey Baklakov. This is Baklakov Live. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. In the end, traditional panorama. Anonymous Covert. I'm on Hotar. Jay Lewis. Thank you, friends. Christine Katsuba. Low Scans. Crystal, Phil Martinez, Goodbye Blue Sky, Pretty Easy, Shirley Farthing, Neil McDonald, Barry Breen, David Elias, Rishab Setke, JC Miranda, Scott D. Low scans, thank you. Thank you for super sticker. Chess Brown, Maria Zaharova, David Davidovich, Lily Pop, Big Abu.
angelic fire. Low scans. From the corner of Vladimirsky and Nevsky Avenues, St. Petersburg, Russia, with love. See you tomorrow.